All right, hey guys, I'm um, doing a quick how-to video on how to export an OMF open media file for um, for Pro Tools or any other um, thing that can import an OMF. Basically what that is is a file that will preserve your track list from Premiere Pro or Final Cut, um, I think uh, up to X. X does some different things. So this mainly is for Premiere Pro and some older versions of Final Cut. Um, so yeah, so what it does is it preserves your audio tracks and your files so that you can actually um, basically just export your whole timeline and send that file to your sound mixer so that he can pull in the file and have all those tracks laid out exactly how you have them in your project. Um, a very useful tool for any kind of pro, uh, post mix. Um, so yeah, if you want to um, have your thing mixed by a by a sound um, professional, this is usually what they'll what they'll ask for. So it's really simple. I've just got a a little video here that I put together. So it's just a, a, a short video, so it shouldn't take very long to ex export this. Um, it doesn't really have a ton of tracks or anything, but um, so it's got the music and a few little glitch things, but um, a lot of times you'll have um, all your sound effects that you wanna have, your music, your dialogue channels, um, especially if you synced audio to an external recorder. Um, so instead of your sound mixer spending time relinking those um, and trying to find you know the takes that you want to use all that kind of stuff you can export this directly so all you do is you open your project you have your timeline here and you basically go to um, the file drop down and go to export and in that you will find a OMF um, setting so you open up that um, give it a title I'll just call this uh, OMF tut um, you have a sample rate, um, so you can either do 48 or 96. Personally, I only use 48. Um, I'll always end up exporting to 48, so that's the best setting for me. Um, and usually it's pretty rare that you'll have um, audio that's recorded in 96, but if so, then uh, you can export in that. Um, next is the bits per sample, and this would probably be, um, you want to stay in 24, that's going to be your best quality. Um, it gives you the options for 16 as well. Okay, so the next uh, little little drop down menu um, is files. So this is asking how you want to save your OMF. Basically, what you're going to think about is how big is your OMF or how big is your project. The rule on the OMF is it cannot exceed two gigabytes. So that's the that's the the maximum that your OMF can handle. Um, so You'll want to look at that, and usually what I'll ask for is um, this encapsulate. Um, basically, what that tells the file, or tells Premiere Pro, is export this as one OMF file. And what that's going to have is all the audio encapsulated in that one file. So when I get into Pro Tools, I can drop that in and not have to worry about um, connecting to some external audio files. The only thing that you can't do is if it exceeds 2 gigs, then you're going to have to go with separate audio files. And that's seen here. Um, yeah, so that's the two things. So if you're doing encapsulated, what's really nice is all you have to do is send the OMF file and then also, you know, your vid video reference. Um, if you do separate audio files, you'll have to send a, uh, a separate audio folder that it will export for you. So we'll leave this as encapsulate. Um, the next window is you have a, a format, AIFF, and that's kind of what the default is for here. Um, not a huge deal. Sometimes it'll ask for broadcast waves. Um, I love using broadcast waves or AF, AIFF is fine too. Okay, so the last step, and this is pretty important, uh, on the render, you can do trim audio files or you can copy the complete audio files. And some of the larger projects, what I'll do is uh, just have them trim the audio files. And this other little box down here is called Handle Frames. What this is, is um, telling Premiere how many frames you want to export on the end of each file. So the handles are the space that aren't actually in the timeline, but can be expanded. So if I go 
let's see if I go in here, I'll just show you. Well, it's not gonna, like if I even go in here, I can export or I can pull out that handle like that. So that's kind of what a handle is. It's the space on the outside of the file that's showing. Um, and as a sound mixer, I want those. I want those files to be expandable. So if I need to make a, a crossfade or whatever. So usually it, it, it kind of depends on um, on the project or whatever. But usually, you know, like a rough estimate would be, um, let's do encapsulated and trim audio files, um, like 100 frames. What's that, like four seconds or something? And usually that's plenty. Um, so if I ever want to extend the audio file, like if I need to hear what take it is or find maybe some dead space to where I can pull a room tone or something like that, the longer handles are fantastic for that. Um, but usually, um, you know, 100 frames is great. Otherwise, you can just include the complete um, audio file. So you know, I have the whole file, which is really probably the best option, but it's really not necessary a lot of the time. So um we will rename this one more time Dot and push okay it's just going to ask me where i want to save it i'm just going to save it to the desktop um and hit save it's going through each track and so it's going to preserve my track list um one thing to note if you have an inactive track or if you have an inactive uh region in your in your uh, project a lot of times that will actually break the omf so you can't have any hidden or deactivated regions you actually have to um, remove those it just doesn't know how to read those unless there's an update that i don't know about okay so now it's just telling us what we've done um omf has been um, exported so in this <coughs> excuse me um, let's go to our desktop and what it's given us is a OMF um, log so this is a text file that you want to send to your sound mixer as well just it tells you the start time is at zero um, there's no offset value the frame rate is 29.97 um, draw frame and yep that's basically all it is. If, if we had some different values there, it would be even more important to send this little text. And then right here is our OMF file. Um, yep. And I don't think I'm going to go into how to import that into Pro Tools. That's the, on the audio guy's side. I might do that in a different video. But this will get you started. Um, I always ask also for an export of the exact. So whatever project you have open as far as for Premiere, um, export that video for me with a burnt in time code and uh, that just means a time code here in the bottom bottom uh, bottom region of this so that I can say you know if I have edit notes or whatever I can say hey at you know two minutes 32 seconds and five frames or whatever um, there's a sound do we want to change this and so that way you have a clear communication um, when you have exact notes um, on the frame and where that's at so anyways I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this um if you can enjoy this stuff it's kind of technical it's uh it's uh but uh, this will make it a lot smoother um hopefully this helps out uh, again the only two the only variable is between separate audio and encapsulated um so between those two if it's over two gigs it'll automatically say hey we have to do this as separate audio um let's just do it real quick um this will be it doesn't take very long to do this so we'll do an export omf and go to omf Tut. Um, let's call this separate, separate audio and we'll just change this. So we'll do change, change the audio. This is all fine. Um, if we do separate audio, we actually get the, the option to do broadcast wave, which is what I usually, I like to do. It gives me a little bit more, uh, metadata I can mess with, um, in the post side and just hit okay. It's going to ask us where to save it and we will save all right and it also gave us a uh, message there kind of showing us our text file and let's open back up our finder and we will see what we got here great um, here is the um, the text log it's telling us what we need to do in Pro Tools there's a, now an audio files folder and those file names are going to be crazy. But um, this audio files, the thing that says audio files, I'll highlight it. 
is what you're going to need to send with the OMF. Now, if you look at the OMF file itself, this is 143. If you look at the one that we did before with the encapsulated, it's 30.4 MB. So um, that's a huge size difference. That's because this OMF, the one with the separate audio, is only holding the placeholders for that audio. And then we're going to send audio files separately. So the only reason you do that is if it's uh, if your OMF exceeds two gigs. Um, and those two things will be what you'll need to send to your mixer. So anyways, that's about it. Hopefully that was not super long. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm doing some more how-to stuff. And uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know if uh, something something um, on this is not correct. Because uh, I'm not a huge Premiere guy. But I know that this is kind of how it works. So, cheers. Cheers.